mind will give some velocity to the block or you will pull the block little bit down and release then it's going to execute SHM. You have to find out the time period of oscillation. Uh, what is the first thing? So first we'll go for the constraint equation. Let X be the displacement of this X1, X2, let this be X3. Let's get into the constraint equation part first. Now first, uh, assume that <coughs> these two springs are not there. So how is this this wire wire uh, wire? It is directly connected to the spring, no? So if the block moves by x, the spring will elongate by x. So therefore, x three equal to x. Now assume that assume that these two springs are not there. Okay, everything this will be wire. Okay, this, this particular thing. Okay, now now if this moves by one meter. Then here one meter, one will become loose. So the block will move by two meter. So therefore X is equal to two X two. Assume that these two are not there. These two springs are not there. This will be like a wire. So when this pulley moves up by one meter, then here one meter, one meter will become loose. This will move by two meters. So therefore two X one. Getting idea? This is the, the, this is the basic idea of uh, superposition principle here. Then let's go for equating spring forces. Here, K3K, X3. Here, here, K3, K, X3. Here, K3, K, X3. Here, K, X1. So therefore, now, now what we can write it here. How much of spring force should I act here? So this will be, I'll, I'll write it. Three K X three. So they should be off of it should act here. Two K X two by two, two K X two by two. Uh, any uh, constrained equation, can we write it? Or, or relation between spring forces. Tension on either side of pulley should be same, no? These two should be equal. And some of these two should be equal to this. Or nothing but you can see this one. So here, here uh, how much you should write here? 3k x3 only because what is this tension should be written here. Let, let me proceed like this. Hmm. Okay, no. Uh, kx1, so kx1 should be equal to 2 into 3k x3 because net force on this pulley should be 0. So we'll write it. This is pulley A, pulley B for pulley A. Similarly, for pulley B, what we can write? Pulley B, uh, of course, it's, it's quite very simple. What are the forces acting off of it will act here. Then uh, th there's a string, no? Tension should be same. So this part of the string is very important. So what is the tension? This point should be same as the string is massless. So therefore, what we can write here, no? 2k x2 by 2 should be equal to 3k x3. There's a basic relationship between them. No, no, let, let me simplify. This will be 6x3, this is equation 1, this is a 2. And then uh, this is string is inextensible. String is light. So therefore, this tension, this part of string is very important. I'll, I'll, I'll underline like this. Blue color string is any, any string or spring is massless, no? So therefore, we'll write it here. Blue string is light. Based on that, we are able to write this equation. Otherwise, not possible. X2 is equal to 3x. This is equation 3. 
so it'll be easy for us to do all the replacements now i can bring x x uh, like a x3 in terms of x all that particular thing let me substitute here x is equal to x3 is equal to how much 6x1 uh, x3 equal to x1 by 6 uh x2 will be 3x3 so 2 into 3x3 plus 2x1 further x3 is how much uh, okay 6x3 you can write it as x1 so this will be 3 3 6 18 19 x1 by 6 am i right Okay, once you know x1 in terms of x, you can bring all other things. So we know x3 equal to x1 by 6. So x by 19. Uh, now what about x2? x2 will be? x3 is how much x by 19 huh? so x2 will be 3x by 19 okay what is energy equation the oscillation energy what we supply will be in the form of elastic potential energy of the springs it will be k x1 square by 2 2k x2 square by 2 3k x3 square by 2 differentiating this and equating to 0 first you replace x1 x2 x3 then differentiate then solve it to get the time period. Okay, do this one. It's a calculation. I'll leave the calculation to student. It will take more time. Uh, able to get this? I think more springs don't get. So how, how springs? Are they series parallel? We don't know. Springs are not in series or not in parallel. Springs are. You get wide varieties of questions. The, the method is same. When you solve three, four problems, you'll get a trick. Oh, th th this what? Some of the constant equation is what you have to find out. And uh, equating spring forces and energy equation is what you have to search. Got it? Okay, let me.